Hey everyone, I'm uh, just trying to clarify the whole whistling thing. Some people are having a little trouble with it. And I think the main thing is the placement of their tongue and also that it's maybe not close enough to their bottom lip. So let me just demonstrate a whistle and so that you can hopefully try and copy it. All right. So as you can see, the basics are pull the bottom lip across your teeth. Your tongue, you, do, you can sort of do the upper part and then the lower part or bring your tongue up first. It doesn't really matter. But the tongue basically seals the teeth like that, okay? Um, and you create a chamber, all right? That's basically, it, it creates a chamber. And that chamber is like blowing across a bottle. So that's how you create your sound. You blow into a chamber, it swirls, and then it comes out the other side. And uh, the hard edge is what you know creates two different speeds of air, and that's what makes a sound. It's basically like the friction of the air against itself or against the, uh, the edge of the bottle. So uh, for high pitch whistles, you just bring your tongue forward uh, towards your teeth and for lower pitch whistles you drop your tongue down to make a bigger chamber bigger bottle smaller bottle um, it's that simple it is simple so don't overthink it um, some people are having problems with you know forming their the shape of their tongue but really you can do it you just have to relax into it play around with it it's it's gonna happen it just give it some time. It's all about patience. It took me probably close to two years figuring this out on my own. I had no instructional video. So that's why I'm doing one. Okay, so again, it's like the th sound or the s sound. S and then you can watch. There's no sound if I don't have the lip there. I cannot whistle without the tongue because it just needs enough of a sort of ramp to, to uh, differentiate the, the two speeds of air. You can do it with uh, both lips over your bo both sets of teeth. Or just your teeth. Uh, it doesn't really matter, and it doesn't work, matter where you put your tongue exactly. Some people bury it behind their teeth, but so long as at the point where the air comes out, there's a, a bit of a wedge shape, like a shape like that. Okay? It doesn't really matter. So there it is. You should be able to feel your tongue against all of your teeth, okay? Just at the front, you open it a little bit to let the air out. If you want to go high-pitched, just bring your tongue forward and make that chamber smaller. So I can go from this, that's about the lowest pitch I can do, to which is about as loud and as high-pitched as you'd want it, okay? so. I don't know what else to tell you. That's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Just keep practicing, relax, uh, try not to care too much about it, take a zen approach, and you should be able to figure it out pretty soon. It's really not that hard once you know the basics. So work on that you know that initial whistle. Just get that you can do that, which is quite relaxed, I don't really have to do a lot of work for that. The only real work is pulling the lip over. It can get a little tiring pulling your jaw like that. 
But to be honest, for the low pitch whistle, you don't even have to do that that much. Okay, there it is. Good luck with it. Send me any uh, comments and questions in the comment section below.